live music with iTunes and Coca-Cola. Hello, I'm Kylie and this is the iTunes Festival Podcast 08. Performing tonight on this very stage is a man that has possibly one of the most soulful voices in the UK. It's Jamie Liddell, but let's catch up with the man in question before he goes on. So here he is, the main man, Jamie Liddell. How are you doing? Very well, yeah. Yeah, I've got a first question is, where the hell did you get that voice from? It's amazing. Uh, it's a genetic thing. <laughs> I think it's, it's, but it's not from my dad. That's from my mum. Your mum's side? Yeah, I reckon. And so um, you're living in Germany, is that right? Are you splitting? I know, I know you're on tour at the moment, so you're probably all over the place. But you are based in Germany? We can say that for the purposes of this interview. Yeah. Where are you living then? Germany. You've been in the industry for a while. Do you think this has helped you kind of home the real Jamie Liddell? Mm, no. No? Not at all? Well, because I don't really know what that means, mm. you know. And I'm not being tricky, but I actually don't. I don't really want to find the real Jamie Liddell. I'm more interested in just finding different parts of, of me, you know. I don't really look for the real one because... I think I'm more, I can't not be the real one, even if I'm being crazy or yeah. like singing like Klaus Nomi or whatever. You can do what you like, do you know what I mean? Mm. You, you are what you want to be. So um, I try to just embrace all my different sides. That's what I've learned. That's what, that's what the industry's taught me, just like have, have fun. That's do what you want and don't worry about it. Don't worry about what it means and... You know, all that just gets in the way, I think, of just exploring your... I mean, with me, I suppose I've got a little bit more of an eccentric side than some people. So I try to bring that out because that's part of me, you know. I've seen you with some very um, jazzy jackets on stage. I'm loving those. Uh, I've got a couple tonight. Okay. Well, just the one. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. I mean, it's all part of, like I say, you see, it just it gives me the chance to, to transform and... You know, it's like going out, isn't it? You put something on. Mm. So I just, I, I, I like that. I like looking down and going, whoa, who am I? I don't really know. <laughs> and that's, that's good. That's a good space for my head to be in, I think. So any surprises tonight? I'm going to be singing a ballad with my head inside a TV, which is not the most comfortable way to sing a ballad. But it's, it's, it's worth seeing. It's, uh, it's taken me a while to get over my fear of telly. I but now, uh, now I'm on it. I'm on telly during the show. And, you know, obviously iTunes listeners, you can't really hear that. Mm. But uh, just imagine me with my head squashed into an RCA TV mm. set and then it might change everything. And the iTunes festival, obviously. Great thing to be part of. It is. It's a lovely thing to be part of. It's cool that it... it See, a lot of music, a lot of people who buy music maybe don't understand that when you make a record, even if you finish it, like I finished my record ages ago, but it only came out in May. Uh, so it takes about a year sometimes when you, after you've finished it yeah. for it to actually reach the shops. The good thing about this is, you know, we're going to play this gig tonight and then in a few days people can hear it, you know. Mm. So that's, that's really good. I like that sort of, you know, immediate connection. What was the last tune that you downloaded? Uh... Well, I think it was Marvin Gaye as a song. Ooh, an old classic. Mm, yeah. I'm not a popular one. Love is More Precious Than Gold, which is a weird song I got asked to sing at a wedding. So I thought, oh, I better learn it then. So I downloaded it. So you're a wedding singer as well? Uh, on occasion. I've only ever sung one wedding, to be honest. It was quite intense. There was no accompaniment. I just stood up and sung in a church. It's quite, it, was, it was good. I've it was, done that I, before. I almost had a religious moment, but I, I managed to hold it down. So was it a friend's wedding then? Or is that why you did it? Or did you we're get paid? Still, we're still friends, yeah. You're still friends. Okay, that's cool. So you've been on tour in the States, haven't you, as well? How did, what yeah. were you there for? I've been to America a lot. I toured with Beck there. Um, just somehow, 2006, I was running around there a lot. Just ended up on the telly, did the Conan O'Brien I was going to say that. I saw your performance on the Conan O'Brien. bunch of animals, a bunch of little tricky animals, and the Hulk was having a pee in Walks the Hulk. You know, that, that kind of thing happens to me when I'm in America, you know. You, a giant green man walks in on you. Brilliant. Yeah, you know. 
Well, listen, uh, I have a great performance, but before you go, oh, there's yeah. one thing that you have to do. It's compulsory. You need to yeah. sign here up on the iTunes Live Festival poster. You need can, your name. Can I do that whilst looking the other way? You can. Is that, is but actually, no, I think I would like you to try it with your back to the poster. Okay, yeah. good, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like half hearted, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's cool, that's fine. Excellent, brilliant. Thanks, Jamie. Have a good one. A pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Cheers. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to end it in a kids' TV style, you know. <laughs> I'm with Julie from Yale just before she performs tonight here at Coco. Hello, how are you finding the UK? Um, I'm very happy to be here tonight. I'm very happy to be in London and uh, we are really excited to play. And have you performed in the UK before? Yes, we already play uh, in Camden in another venue. It's like an hospital for horses. I don't oh. remember the name. It's an old venue, but it, it was really, really cool. And um, we play in at the Brixton with uh, Mika. It was in uh, in February, yes. Um, so oh, you, you were discovered on MySpace. That was kind of your platform to get out there. How do you think that the new technologies has, has changed your, your um, connection with your audience? Uh, it, ch it changed everything, you know. With MySpace, uh, we tour a lot in Europe, in the world. Uh, we we um, we had lots of contact to play in uh, in Australia, in Scandinavia, um, now in in uh, in UK, in US, and it's very very important for us to continue to to share. Uh, things with mm. these people, you know, with the, the, the um, public of MySpace and, uh, and this crowd because they are with us since the beginning and uh, it's, uh, yes, it's important for us to continue to, to work on the web and uh, internet, etc. So do you think it's a good thing that iTunes are putting on a festival like this? Yes, yeah. I think it's a good idea and, uh, and it, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, um, it's important to, to, uh, for iTunes to to put live show and uh, live song show like that, I think it's um, yeah, it's a new vision of music and uh, and uh, and we are very very happy to be to be here with iTunes yeah. and uh, and here in London. Okay, well listen, lovely to chat to you and have a great Thank performance. You. Enjoy it. Thank you. Cool. Live music with iTunes and Coca Cola. And